KP, they scored 75 points uh, in the first half. Um, what do you think was the biggest problem defensively for you guys tonight? I think they were hot. They got hot. Um, and they have some great shooters from outside. From top to bottom, they just got going early from three. And, and uh, yeah, it's it's hard to stop a team like that when you know, they get going like that, you know, in that first half. So for sure there's things that we could have, we could have been more aggressive and up, and up into them more and force them to, to make the next play, which we did in the second half. Um, but yeah, like that first half. Uh, definitely hurt us in the in the long run. In the to the adjustments that were made at halftime, was it mostly a mentality switch, or were there um, scheming changes? Yeah, a bit of both. Uh, but we knew that we had to pick up our energy, and and I felt like um, we came out a bit. Uh, we we, did, we underestimated, them, you know, a bit. Came out a bit overconfident, maybe that we were going to get it done. And uh, yeah, against a team like that, once they get or shooting, it's it's tough, and uh, and then of course second half, we we gave what we had, and and uh, that was better, that was better, but uh, still, it's hard to play uphill like that. You know, so learn from this one and learn from next one. You know, KP early on, you had some chances to post up some guards, and it seemed like the defense rotated really well to you. What made it, um, you know, what they do to kind of crowd your space in those situations? Yeah, I think it was a bit of like, us not. Facing well, you know, there was a situation. Um, Denny tried to drive, and there was really no space. You know, I, I would rather, you know, open up that paint for him if he wants to drive. And um, and yeah, a little bit of spacing maybe it's a problem. Me posting up, so I try not to post up in that um, free throw area as much. Maybe more down lower post, and then just get an advantage or be there for the rebound if somebody else shoots, and, and be able to, you know, but. Just sometimes the game doesn't, it wasn't like perfect rhythm and everything's happening the way it's supposed to, you know. And that's the first time we've seen them putting a guard on me and, and now I was kind of take advantage of that. And so we're going to get better from, from this. I'm going to, you know, be better in those situations right away. Uh, but overall, I think we, we, you know, we got, we were putting, we, we were putting the guy who, whoever Brad was going to go at into the pick and roll, the switch, and then Brad can go to work. Um, so yeah, I think yeah, good good game for us, good lesson for us. You know, we always learn more when you lose. So definitely gotta look at the film and and and, and see what we could have done much better. Is that spacing and timing just coming from playing together more, or are you are you guys actively working on like, hey, when I'm here, you're there? Uh yeah, uh, we need playing more, and I think we need to recognize and 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 read the game quicker. Sometimes we 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 rush when we should slow down, and sometimes we need to go quicker when we kind of. You know, when we're going slow. So yeah, I think it's a bit of, uh, of, of of experience playing together, and then making those reads quicker, and having that experience. We'll, we'll sooner or later we'll figure it out. Okay, so you guys have Boston next, and then Philly twice, and Brooklyn, Memphis after that. It seems like it's a tough stretch coming up. What's going to be key for you guys to navigate that? Um, Recovering after the game, you know we're gonna have to take care of our bodies and yeah, tough games coming up, good teams. But if we want to be there, we 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 have to be able to compete with those teams and, and win some of those games. So, um, I think our, our mentality is you know, that, that uh, every one of those games is a winnable game for us, especially with the feeling that we have have from this game now going into the next one. I think it's only gonna help us. Uh, and it's going to be a tough schedule, but that's all we're here. We're, you know, that's 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 what what our schedule is like, and and we just got to keep going day by day, and game by game. Brad, what did you like about the defensive effort in the second half, in particular, to get back into the game and have it be at two possessions with five minutes to go? Uh, well, first praise my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You know, it was it was good. I mean, how we played in the second half is how we should have played. You know, in the first half, we ended up playing catch up and, you know, we allowed a team to shoot 57% from three in the first half and um, just had, you know, the hope looked like an ocean to them. So it was it's tough to be able to come back from that when the team has the momentum and they're locked in. And, um, you know, they, they had a lot of good things going from them. They exploited us in every way. So 
Um, how we played in the second half is definitely how we should have started the game. Been doing. Defensively, especially in the first quarter, were there cross matches or difficulty communicating on, on defense to give them those looks? Yeah, our defense was, was horrible. It was horrendous. Um, and they did a really good job moving bodies. They didn't care who was in the action. It was big, it was small. Um, and uh, they did a really good job of just finding the next play to ball and getting stagnant for them. They, they hopped it around. They moved it. They drove it. They made threes. Um, and collapsed our defense, you know, so that they pretty much exploited everything. We, us guards, we got to be better at containing the ball. We put a lot of pressure on our bigs. Um, bigs, obviously, are kind of the quarterbacks, and they can see the whole play before it develops. But um, we got to accept challenges more as, as guards and keeping our man in front of us. And um, that, I think that'll eliminate some of our overhelp situations that lead to those kickout threes and breakdowns on defense. Brad, in, in those defensive breakdowns, is it more like, or I guess, what's the balance between familiarity with West's concepts and, and being able to kind of predict where a defender needs to go, or are you guys just kind of like opening your mouth and, and saying, like, literally, I need help come up and, and get higher? I mean, it's a little bit of both. Obviously, we have a scheme, we have a plan, but everything is flying, you know? So, coach gives us free reign, you know, if we see something different or we call something that wasn't in the scheme, just go with it, you know? Um, you know, communication is everything, as long as we're talking it out. Um, I think that eliminates a lot of the problems and hassles we may have in the slippage, but um, they did a really good job of just throwing us in a lot of different actions, and we just had to make the extra effort, and I think that wasn't there necessarily tonight. You know, they were doing a good job, especially Buddy. Buddy moves well without the ball. He slips, he screens, he moves, shot fakes, puts the ball on the floor. If you don't have it, he moves it, right? If that person doesn't have it, they move it, and it's it's, it's just an ongoing thing until they find the right shot, so uh, and then not to mention they've they've been playing well. Like they played Chicago competitively. Like they got down early, but they came back late in the game. Like this has been the testament of this team. They compete hard no matter what it is. On that point, what's your kind of assessment through this team so far? You guys have had a lot of kind of young, hungry team, and then obviously coming up, big test. Oh, for sure. I mean, I mean, we we're in a good position. Obviously, we we wish we could have won this game and, and uh, did a lot of things better than what we did. And it's crazy. Look at our our numbers, and it's like. Damn, it's like, well, did we win the game? If you just look strictly at our numbers, 47, 40, 82, you would have thought we won. But you look at the other team, it's like, okay, yeah, we see why. And it's just simply our defense, and that's all controllable. Um, offense, we get a little stagnant. We got to be better at moving the ball, moving bodies, finding more actions kind of similar to how they do, regardless of who's in it. And uh, and just keep it keep it moving and hopping. Like, obviously, we don't have a problem sharing the ball. Everybody gets shots. Um, but we have to be better on defense. We lost on defense tonight. How do you guys make do without the wall? It's tough. It is tough. Uh, you can see it tonight because he's he's a pest on defense. He uh he gets us those deflections. He's just everywhere. He's a, he's a pest. He gets in on the bigs. Get those reach ins. Those all those things. Uh, gets into the ball. You know, really good defender. So I mean, it's it's definitely tough. It is tough for him, but you know, it's always you guys know better than anybody. It's next man up mentality. Um, and an opportunity for somebody to kind of make a name for himself. Having played a few games with the new lacrosse, how do you size up Boston and what's going to be the key against them? Uh, shit, we got guard. We guard like tonight. We're going to lose them. 50. That's, a, that's for sure. You know, that's not even sugar-coated. Uh, Boston's playing really good basketball. Uh, Jason and Jalen are playing at a high level ever since the finals. Uh, they just carried that over right on into this year. Uh, and, I mean, that's a two-headed snake, and they're leading, their, they're, leading, they're leading the team just like that, you know. And everybody else, all the pieces that they added, you know, Malcolm, Really good, solid guard. You know, obviously we know Marcus is over there as a great defender, and we're gonna have our hands full. You know, so it's a good test. Like Ava says, a good test for us early. Um, kind of see where we stand. Brad, what kind of advice are you giving to Johnny now that he's in the, could possibly get more minutes right. in both the group? Uh, biggest thing is be aggressive, and I know that's kind of vague, um, but being aggressive means you get the ball, putting pressure on the defense. You know, and that's that's the biggest thing I want him to do. Uh, and then even on defense, on the defensive end, do something to get you going. You know, um, just always stay engaged in the game. He's gonna he's gonna have minutes now. You know, so it's it's up to him to to come in and and be ready to go, be locked in. And and I always tell him, be aggressive, bro. Like if I throw you the ball, it's because you're open, and I want you to shoot it. <laughs> and it's either you shoot it or drive it. Like you you're gonna have those av those options and that availability. Uh, you know, to be aggressive. You know, I'm a very unselfish player. We all are. And so when the ball finds him, 
find your hands is usually for you to make a play and do something with it. So I'm confident in him to do it. Just need him to be a little bit more confident in himself to do it too. Um, tonight was the DMV boat initiative that you mm -hmm. guys were encouraging people that were in attendance to get on the boat. And I know last election you expressed about your first time voting. So what's your mindset going into this year's election? Uh, the same. Uh, it's, it's definitely better because you can educate yourself more. And now we're at the local level and, and we can, it's like where you can really start making those changes, right, in your community. And so uh, I think it's very important we all we all get out to the polls. We all get out and and one educate yourself on who you want to be in office and who you want to represent your city, your county, whatever the case may be, and uh, what they stand for, and stay on that. You know, um, don't necessarily let up on that person. I guess, especially in our shoes, like it's important. We educate ourselves, but then keep pressure, you know, on making those changes and making a difference in the world. So I'm happy that, you know, Monumental is behind us in, in all of our endeavors. Uh, but it's imperative on all of us. You know, we want change. We, we're at the forefront of it. Brad, you got to play a little bit more with Rui and Kuz at the same time on the floor. What do you think of just like the mix and the chemistry with you guys? Well, it's good. I mean, both are two super aggressive. I mean, we all three are aggressive players. Um think we could be better at working on our spacing. And I think that'll come, obviously, with the year this year going on. Um, understanding where Rui likes the ball and understanding Kuz is going to push. Kuz is going to go hard every single time. Um, but it's, it's been good. It's a, it's a good experience. Us three can really we can switch off if we need to on defense. But uh, you have three guys who can who can really go. Uh, and you mentioned Buddy having a big night. Tyrese Halber and also a big night. What did you see from him uh, on the other side? Tyrese is special. He'll, he'll continue to be special. Um, he has a jerky game that, are, you know, is unpredictable. And I think he's a very underrated passer. You know, he did an awesome job of finding guys in the corner, finding his bigs on lobs. Uh, just keeping pressure on us, you know, because he's a, he's a, you got to respect his ability to score, his ability to get in the paint, his ability to shoot three um, and shoot the floater. So he, he kind of has an all around game that you got to, you got to be prepared for it. And he, I know he had a big summer this year too. So, um, it wasn't anything surprising from Tyrese. Yeah. What did you like most about um, the ability for Gaffer to put pressure on the rim tonight and the explosiveness that he had in only 14 minutes of play? It was awesome. Uh, we got to get him the ball more. Um, and we got to make sure that, you know, he's constantly involved. Our bigs are constantly involved. It's, it's tough on bigs because bigs, like I said earlier, they compete their tails off. They work so hard. They're the quarterbacks. And us guards, we put a lot of pressure on them on defense, you know, and the, the least we can do as guards is give them a bone on the other end. So we 100% got to get Gav the ball a lot more around the rim. He was three for four tonight. That's unacceptable. Like if you're shooting 75% from the field, you should be shooting more. So that's kind of my opinion on it. You know, he needs to get the ball a little bit more, finish around the rim. And uh, I think we got to be better at doing that.